Can you even see me? I can. Wow. Just want to give a quick shout out to couple.com. Thank you, couple.com. Back at home, what's the set look like for today? Uh, so we're heading to the pool. Uh, six by 400, LT2 is the plan. We got, I think, my first ever uh, triple threshold day. What are you hitting today? Um, I might just do five by five, or three by 500. Just something light. It didn't feel, it felt pretty hard actually. Like the lactate was 2.3 millimol. Well, for the last two reps, I swam 118s and 117s. And I was four millimol after those, which uh, I think about it. When I started doing lactate, I would like just accidentally be at four millimol by like swimming a tiny bit too hard. You've never been on the road. I've never been on this road before. I didn't know it was so f steep. <sighs> Jesus. This workout is not going to go as planned. I looked on Strava, it said four miles at an average of 4%. This is more like 14. So this was three by 15 minutes. Well, with the first five at uh, 400 to like 410 watts. So we'll see if it's under four, that's good. Oh, all right, pretty good. Happy with that? No, yeah, very. I mean, that means like, I, I'm, I'm guessing I was 10, 10 millimol, like five minutes into each of those reps or thereabouts. So to go from 10 millimol and then push, you know, 320, you know, it means I'm still clearing it. So um, that, those 320 were very majority aerobic, which is what you want to see. So that's well, you, good. No, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's, you cleared a lot. If you went from 10 to 3.4 in a 10 minutes, not even, and it was still uphill. Yeah. So, so uh, good session. Um, yeah, that's, I was thinking on the way here, I have to do like, I figure I'll do two or three VO2 max sessions this entire block and that, that definitely counts. So cool. two left in like uh, two more months. So that's good because I don't like doing them that much. <laughs> <laughs> so I knocked one of them out of the way. Uh, 
What are we doing here? So here we go. The final threshold session of the day. Um, 10 to 12 by 1K. Uh, now I'll say 45 to 60 second rest. All right, so first couple are gonna be, I'm gonna ease into it, but I'll probably go out too hard, so. Numero uno. <laughs> The, uh, the high school 1K loop is bang on. First rep down. Yeah, I, uh, it's gonna take me a couple to get warmed up. I want to give a quick shout out to couple.com. Thank you, couple.com. Uh, yeah, this run was good. It got dark. I had to like really start slowing it down around court, like walking around the corners to make sure I like just stayed on my feet. But the effort was good, consistent all the way through, and it, it felt like like I wasn't overcooking it you know I feel like I could do that again next week you know and time will tell if that's true but I feel like I've built myself up to uh, more of a, a training volume that I would uh, ideally like to see you know one before my body couldn't really handle it when do you really start decreasing the volume for Indian Wells or how does really that like, how does that come into play just a week out probably yeah yeah that's just, it and then what is the training how does the training change then is it going to be keeping the intensity but decreasing the volume or well, there'll be lower intensity lower volume uh I, i'm not sure yet i i just you know i've been making everything up on the fly I honestly like i didn't know what i was going to do i don't know what i texted you yesterday but i didn't know what i was going to do today until i woke up like right. i had an idea um but I, I like it that way i like uh the freedom and i think i am proving to myself that i'm not being an idiot yet like i really think i'm starting to get the hang of this self-coaching thing those are I guess famous last words, but you know, we'll, we'll see. I'm really trying to let the ego go and just not be an idiot this, this whole block. That, that seems to be a big recurring theme for the whole duration of your trip back home was the ego and letting the ego go and I guess trusting your instincts more. Well, that's what a, co a coach will do is like keeps your ego in check. You know, they're, they're the ones who look at your training and like this is what you should be doing objectively uh, or at least semi-objectively. It's very, and that's why you have a coach is it's very hard to do that yourself. All right, so when are we gonna see you next? What's the next workout gonna look like? What's the next video gonna look like for that's us? A good question. It's uh, whatever the boys back in Seattle wanna, wanna film. Probably I'll get my, uh, get my roommate Nolan to hop on the bike with an iPhone and uh, we'll be back at the dirt track. All right, cool. So we'll catch you then, Ari. It's been great, yeah. thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, I, I appreciate you, Ari. And it's gonna be much less, uh, much lower quality uh, without you, but I'm glad you hit me up. <laughs> no worries, man. Happy to help you. All right, Ari, I'll catch up with you later.